Hi, I'm Mark from Platinum LED Grow Lights. Today we're gonna to do another side-by-side. -side. This time we're gonna put a 600 watt HPS against our P450, which is a 600 watt HPS replacement. What we'll do is we'll measure the actual PAR output, which is the intensity level, and the spectral output, which relates to spectral efficiency and how what you're putting out is actually being absorbed by green chlorophyll. These two factors and these two factors alone, as you know by now, equal the actual growing power of any horticultural light. So first of all, for the sake of validity and keeping everything fair, we're gonna measure our environment. First we have the wattage draw. This one's coming in right in at 662 watts, all right? Full power digital ballast, 600 watt HPS. Next, the hanging height. We're gonna show you that it's right at about 24 inches, which again, is about low for an HPS, but we're gonna do this fair, apples to apples. All right, the first part of the data, we're gonna measure the PAR, which is the light intensity. Center point, that's gonna come in right at about 800 micromoles, all right? Now, as you know, PAR is only one half of the value. It's not weighted. It's simply how intense is the light. The other part is the actual spectral output that you're putting out and how that relates to what chlorophyll is absorbing. So, we'll do a brand new fresh hit with the UPR tech spectrometer, and you'll see again that's a big peak right in the area that plants are not even really absorbing it, right in the greens and yellows. So this means that only about 50% of what you're actually putting out is being absorbed by the plants. The rest is being refracted back off into space. So that half of that power that you're burning, half of that heat that you're generating is completely wasted and useless. Now, the other part of this is as you know, the less electricity you're consuming, the less heat you're gonna be making, all right? We can measure this with a laser thermometer. Putting it at the center point of the refraction, it's right around 141 degrees Fahrenheit, okay, which is blazing hot. Not only that, do you have a high surface temperature, you have a high bulb temperature being burned by that one exact bulb. This in turn heats up the reflector, which it becomes a heat radiator, and heats up the entire room. We're sweating just sitting here in front of it. Now, this high temperature burns your leaves, burns your trichomes, stresses plants out. We don't want plant stress, we want happy plants. All right, next up the P450 and how it compares. All right, now to measure our Platinum LED P450, which is our 600 watt HPS replacement. Again, to make sure we're playing on a level playing field here, we're gonna show you our wattage draw, which is coming in right in around 260, 265 watts, less than half of that 600 watt HPS. And we're also gonna show you the hanging height. All right, apples to apples, 24 inches. Now for the data that matters. First, the intensity level, PAR. We'll find that the center point at 24 inches is right around a little over 960 micromoles right now. Now remember that PAR is only the intensity level. It's not weighted. So you can have a high PAR level or an intense light, but if it's putting out an inefficient light that isn't adhering to actually what green chlorophyll is absorbing, then what's the actual growing power? So the other half of the power of the light is the spectral output. We'll go ahead and measure that. And we'll see that thanks to the 12 band output, that we can create a spectral output that as closely matches what the green chlorophyll is absorbing, including IR, UV, and everything else in between. This is the actual spectral efficiency in the other half of the growing power. So that you can see, with less than half the power of that 600 watt HPS, not only do we have a brighter light, but we have a more efficient light with far more growing power again, using less than half of the actual power. Now, the other part of that is when you consume less electricity, you generate less heat. We can take an infrared thermometer, same thing, and we can see about surface temperatures right around 80 degrees. Now, when you have less surface temperature, you have happier plants, less stress, more trichomes, higher THC, more budding sites, a happier plant in general. We can achieve this with less than half of the power, almost no maintenance cost, a five-year warranty, eight to 10-year actual longevity with no degradation of light quality. The advantage is clear. There simply is no room for HPS anymore in today's growing environment. Feel free to come to our website at Platinum Grow Lights at any time. We'll show you how Platinum LED Grow Lights are the highest PAR producing LED Grow Lights on the market today, along with the most efficient 12-band spectral output. These two factors together give you the most powerful LED Grow Lights. Thanks so much.